I'm at the house and I wasn't here for a few days, but we are getting flooring installed and the kitchen island is installed. Most of the cabinets are installed. Tomorrow we have the countertops getting installed. So everything is kind of coming together, which is good because we're moving in like, we're moving next Friday basically. So it's already Tuesday. So let me show you guys a little update. These pendant lights are actually too, too short for a vaulted ceiling. So I'm gonna have to return these and find some longer ones. Our kitchen sink. I love how massive the sink is. Flooring is getting installed. Here we already have our doors delivered, which they need to be painted. We took out the ugly vanity that was here before and installed our bathroom vanities. I got my nails done today and I'm obsessed. They're literally perfect. Hey guys, good morning. Today is Saturday. I don't know which part of this footage is gonna go in which vlog, but pretty much we have like five days until we're moving into our house. I am feeling a little overwhelmed just because I still have to film a brand deal so I can't pack up my beauty room fully but we need to start packing up like literally our pantry, our shoes, our coats, anything that we're not gonna be using within the next five days has to be packed up in boxes ready to go. Let me show you guys actually what's going, what's going down. This is our extra bedding. We had a memory foam mattress pad in our, in our room, but we got rid of it because it just makes us really, really hot. The material is like polyester, so it's like not really breathable. We bought these boxes to store a lot more stuff in, um, all our games. In there is going shoes. We have our so just basically like just a lot of stuff. And then I want to pack up our pantry. I wash my makeup brushes. Um, I want to pack up our pantry here. It's not very organized, but it's the best I could do. We have Goodwill donations. I want to like deep clean everything here. I want to like remove things from like these cabinets here. We'll see how much I get done today. Hopefully I get a good amount of packing up done and cleaning up this mess a little bit because it's just messy everywhere. Also, I don't know if you guys heard, but we had our gender reveal two days ago and we're having a baby boy. I'm so excited when I found out I was so shocked just because I was so convinced I was having a girl all day and all night that night that I found out. I was thinking about it and looking at boy names and I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're going to have a baby boy. I'm glad I know now <laughs> so now I can start shopping for some baby boy clothes and things like that because hey, that was the hardest part about the register. I was like, there's so many cute girl stuff, not so much boy stuff. So now I have to really dig deep and dive into the boy section. Anyways, I'm going to start slowly packing up our things and kind of going with the flow. I think I'm going to start off with the laundry room because it's a smaller area and I feel like after I pack that area up, I'm going to feel a lot more satisfied. Um, I want to take this basket out vacuum behind it because I know there's so much dust back there. I have toilet paper, baby wipes, a whole bunch of towels that I washed but did not fold. I was too lazy. Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday morning and we are out of here Saturday morning. So we have a few more days. My mom is five minutes away. She is coming here to help me pack up. Right over here, this is how we're kind of separating things. It's not as bad when your mom is here to help. Here we have more stuff. Just like bigger appliances, gotta wipe down everything. Kisia. How are you doing? She knows something is up, absolutely. Um, she's always next to me when I'm packing and she's smelling everything. So she knows something is up, but she doesn't know that she's going to be moving into a house soon. <laughs> Keisha. I woke up today and I legit don't even look pregnant. It's so funny because 
Well, I kind of have a bump right here, like this is me sucking it in. But um, at night, like in the morning, my bump is so small, and then at night, it's literally so big. It's just so funny how that happens. This pregnancy is flying by so fast. It's just flying by because of the move and everything and work and all that fun stuff. So very thankful for an easy, smooth pregnancy so far. Like very, very thankful for that. What's today? Thursday? Thursday. And we are out of here Saturday by noon, which means we need to be fully packed up by Friday. Here's the thing. Our house is not ready yet my mom came over i don't know if i filmed that but she helped me clean clean out the kitchen completely wipe everything down she was such a huge help we pretty much have everything in boxes um just a few last minute things that i need to put away a few things i need to sell my mom dropped off our cat at my sister's house so she's gonna stay with her for a couple of days just until we get settled settled in into the new house i don't want to overwhelm her and stress her out with all this moving um she gets frightened really easily she's literally a scaredy cat <laughs> so she loves it at my sister's house so i feel really good about that and that way i don't have to worry about her yeah i was a little sad at first yesterday because we I, I got rid of her yesterday and i was like oh my gosh this is like this apartment is her home and She's never gonna be back here. Like that actually made me really, really sad. So it was just like one of those realizations that we're moving out of our very first apartment. This chapter is officially closing. Anyways, I decided to feel human today. I did my hair, put on a little bit of makeup, got dressed, and now I'm gonna go run a few errands. Oh yeah, and also I am officially 21 weeks pregnant today. The baby is a size of a cantaloupe so there he is all up in my belly I did not realize how pregnant I looked once I started wearing tighter shirts because I always wore like loose baggy shirts and then now that I saw myself in a tight shirt I was like <gasps> I actually look pregnant <laughs> Okay, this is our last night in our first apartment. Makes me so like, I did not cry, but like, I just like will miss the memories. Here we have our beautiful, lovely kitchen. I will miss so dearly. It was just perfect. Are you sad to be leaving? Yeah, so sad. We're like driving and he's like, Tanya, this is the last road we're gonna take to this house. And I was like, yeah, we got our, cooler in here to take the rest of the things from the fridge. We sold our couch. So here we have, I'm doing laundry, last load. And then here we have my beauty room, all nice and empty. My closet. This apartment was amazing for us. We're sleeping on a mattress tonight. Last time we were taking out the trash in this house. Yeah. <laughs> we're just packing up our trash can. Everything is empty. The people that are moving in after us are buying our couch, so we're just leaving it here for them. Now we're on to bigger and better things. Can't believe we're in our next home. We're gonna welcome our baby boy. That's crazy. I am 21 weeks and two days pregnant. Or three days pregnant. I don't even know at this point. <laughs> I'm glad that this apartment was just kind of Sergey and I for the memories. And then the next home is gonna be our family expanding some more. Any last words, Sergey Nikotanko, for the future? You were good to us, house. The yeah. Apartment. <laughs> we love this apartment, you guys. It was amazing. Oh, you forgot this. Yeah, my plant can't forget it. A beautiful fiddle leaf. All right, that's it.
gosh. Good morning, you guys. It is about 10 or 10.30, I think, 10 or 11 o'clock. I slept in today because last night I was itchy all over my body. <sighs> Randomly started happening Wednesday. It's already Sunday. And I started getting like really itchy around my wrists. And then I found myself like getting weird bumps. And I was like, dang, that's actually strange because like I didn't eat anything out of the ordinary. I didn't like, I'm like, is this like a pregnancy reaction or something like that? And so it spread to my forearms and my elbows. It's all over my thighs and my thighs and my calves. It spread to my neck and it just feels like really, it feels like ac like little bumps of acne all over my face and scaly. Yesterday I called uh, a nurse, 24-7 nurse, and she was like, if it doesn't go away within the next 24 hours, then you should just go to the emergency room just to get checked out so you can get a diagnosis um, as what kind of like medication, what they can prescribe you with to help. She was asking if the baby was moving, if there, if I had any bleeding or anything like that, like all the concerning questions. And honestly, no, like I had no itchiness on my belly. The baby is moving a lot. I just think this is like a pregnancy side effect that some women have. So it's just like one of those things. But yeah, I'm starting off my first day at the house. By the way, yeah, we slept here. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. I'm like going straight into. We slept in our. This is our first night here at the house, and um, we slept here because we just had to prep for painting of the trim. That's why all the trim and everything around it is covered. So we just slept in this room. They didn't paint any here yet, but I think they are gonna paint in here tonight. So um, my husband and I are probably gonna go sleep at either his parents' house or my parents' house. Or we might get a hotel room. I don't know. But I'm not going to be staying here. Just obviously because the paint is so strong. But yeah, we just slept here for the night. And it was not bad. <sighs> he is currently working right now. So he will be back here. But I'm just not going to be planning on staying at this house today. Just because I don't want to be in their way when they're painting and stuff. So I'm going to go to the ER. Get checked out. Hopefully get something prescribed to me to help. Because it's so itchy and uncomfortable. Like it's unbearable. And then I might just go hang out with my sister Nat for the day. Yeah, so all our floors are covered in brown paper, everything. So once they spray this down, I think two days later they can remove everything. And it's going to feel like a normal house. We're getting our carpet installed tomorrow. So it's not going to be something that we're going to live like this for the next month or so, you know. But yeah, I never... I'm like here thinking, wow, my pregnancy is going so smooth. I literally have... Which it is. It honestly still is. I would not say I'm having a hard pregnancy whatsoever it's just this side effect i think it's just hormonal changes and just what pregnancy does to you overall so it's just one of those things but um it's not i don't think hopefully life threatening or anything like that oh yeah and that being said last night i woke up at four in the morning no not even four it was like almost four o'clock i was so itchy and i could not sleep at all so i laid in bed till 2 30 no i laid in bed till 6 30 6 37 the sun was already rising and i was on my phone and i was so itchy i couldn't sleep i couldn't find rest and so what do you do in that case you online shop so <laughs> i was online shopping a freaking five in the morning <laughs> Ooh, i bought some stuff i got um i really wanted to get myself the lululemon everywhere belt bag but they came out with like the fleece design which is so cute at first i really wanted the just original design but i feel like fleece is so in right now so i'm like whatever i think it's cute i also got myself some mini uggs for like the fall time there's like other things at nordstrom that i wanted but i think i held off on that and i think i just might go in store and just pick it up but yeah and then i fell back asleep and then just woke up at 10 so it was an interesting morning. I'm going to go get some breakfast. It's so crazy because like yesterday I was like, dang, I'm moving out of our apartment. And then like once you make the decision and you actually like move out, like I actually don't really miss our apartment. Maybe I will miss it, like the memories and stuff, which well, actually I know I will. My husband and I were just like laying on our mattress <laughs> and we're just like, I can't believe we're, s this is like our house. Like this is our home. Like there's no timeline to be like here, like, we're here, this is, we can make it our own. Now I can really go in and like 
furnish it the way that I want to. I always like held back with rentals. I always got my clothes from, not clothes, I always got my furniture from offer up, things like that. Because I just, I didn't want to spend thousands of dollars on furniture knowing that we're not going to stay there. It's like a rental place. So I always would go to like Facebook Marketplace and things like that. And I found some really good stuff, like amazing deals. Um, but now I'm buying like my favorite pieces and actually taking my time to furnish our home and make it cozy and make it homey. And it just makes me that much more excited because our baby boy is going to be coming into this world soon, like five months or something. And uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to just see him like run around in this house and like, I don't know, it's going to be home to him too. And it's just like so sweet to think about. Yeah, last night I could not sleep. Not because I was like, oh, it's a new place. I genuinely just like, was super itchy and uncomfortable. So anyways, I'm not going to wear like foundation or anything because I feel like the itchiness is spreading and I don't want it to spread on my face. So I'm not going to wear any like foundation or anything. I'm like also wearing an oversized tee with some biker shorts because my legs just can't be restricted with leggings right now. I'm so happy in life right now. Like it's actually so amazing. Just I'm so grateful. I think that's just like what it comes down to. When we got this house, we had so much favor, so much favor. Like even when it comes to like help and just like the things that we found, like deals, like there's just, it just went so smoothly. And I'm just like, there's no way that this is not God. Like, I don't know, we, we were at peace this entire time. Like, yeah, there are some like hiccups and like things that are like, oh, why do we do it like this? But, but like we still look at it and we're just like, dang, we are so blessed. Just amazing favor of God over our lives. So I got myself the pumpkin cream cold brew with an extra pump of vanilla because I like my cold brew a little more on the sweeter side. Got myself a water, staying hydrated after coffee always. And then I just picked up the, what's it called? Double smoked bacon sandwich. Just something to eat before coffee. I still have a box I need to take to my mom's house. I love living in a smaller town. Like... Yeah, it's further away from everything, somewhat. But everybody here is like, most mostly everyone here is really, really nice. We have to take a sip together in, in honor of October 2nd. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna put my camera down, my phone down and head to the emergency room. I called them earlier today asking if it's, uh, yeah, if I can come in. They said, yes, we're open 24 seven. So I guess I will see you guys there. I've been here for two hours already and I'm still waiting on a doctor. The itching is getting so bad. I'm bleeding in some spots just by how irritated my skin feels. I'm hoping they can give me something like right away that can soothe the itchiness because it's unbearable. It's so bad. All right, so I just got back from the emergency room and I was in that room for three hours and I was freaking dying with itchiness. Oh my gosh, but glad that we came with a resolution as to what I have. As soon as the doctor walked into the room, she saw me, she was like, you have hives, nothing like a little bit of Benadryl and some Hodorosaroid, whatever that cream is called. It should help and it should clear that up. Blood pressure's looking great, temperature's looking great, everything's looking great. Yeah, I'm very, very thankful and happy that nothing is wrong. So I'm at Rite Aid right now. I'm gonna go pick up some of those pick up the Benadryl that I need and go to my sister's house and pass out. <laughs> That's the plan for today. And I'm thinking of maybe stopping by and getting some food as well, but I'm not really that hungry right now. We'll see. I might change my mind real quick. So it's been a couple hours since you saw me. I had Panda Express. I took the Benadryl and passed out at my sister's house. Since my husband painted our house, I decided to just stay the night at my sister's house and he's going to stay the night at his friends. Just so we're not sleeping in that paint smell. 
I wouldn't want to either way. But I just took a shower. The feeling of wanting to itch my skin definitely went down by a lot, but I still have to like subconscious, like mentally make the decision not to scratch myself because I, I noticed some parts are still really scratchy. Um, but I'm gonna take some more Benadryl before bed and that should really help. And I also applied the cream all over the areas where I have the rash. But yeah, so far so good. <sighs> I'm just watching Bachelor in Paradise and uh, relaxing before going to sleep. Tomorrow I'm going to wake up in the morning and head to the house. We're getting our carpets installed and all that paper can be removed. So I'm really excited to see it finally coming together and I'm going to deep clean the house and then start organizing our stuff. And it's actually going to feel like home. So yeah, good night guys.